Uh, this is the first time that I truly feel like stop doing this. I'm so tired. When when I was at the Voktebolien, I I found out that I was one map short. I told Sven Erik, uh, the the guy that is looking after the cabin, that I was quite nervous. And then he suggested that we could meet up here by this water, uh, Gautlevatna, and then we could walk together up to the next cabin. I uh, I was gonna meet them around or before noon. It's 11:50. So it's a little bit exciting when you don't have a signal, you cannot use your phone. So it's like back in the old days, we just had to trust that the other one would be there in time. Hi! Hey! Are you coming for the help? Are you coming to help me? Hey! Hello! Endeli! People I meet keep keep telling me about these uh, dangerous snow bridges and river crossings and I know that they mean well and that they just want me to be aware and to be careful, I guess. Um, so it's up to me to, to not get too worked up about it because I tend to get quite stressed and, and nervous about what, what is coming instead of just take that problem when it appears. I know that after the powder cabin there's this water where there's supposed to be two boats, one on each side of this uh, lake. You have to take one boat and then uh, get to the other side, then bring the other boat to uh, back to start and then row the second boat over so that it always is two boats. But the problem is, the people that I've met tell me that one of the boats has disappeared. So it's only one boat. Uh, so I have no idea what I'm gonna do if the boat is not on, on my side of the lake. I really hope it is. Otherwise, it's gonna be uh, 10 kilometers around the lake and then another 25 kilometers to the next cabin. So uh, I'm just gonna cross my fingers, hope that the, uh, the boat is on my side of the lake. I'm in the boat. It's only like 30 meters across. I'm so relieved that the boat was on my side. I feel really sorry for the people coming after me because I don't have any other choice but to leave the boat on this side. Sherpa hi! I have not met a lot of people who've been um, walking this way. Only yesterday, actually. Uh, then I met two guys from Spain and a guy from Norway. And apparently there is this one crazy American doing 50 kilometers a day. Uh, they have made it, so I'm gonna make it too. But I've also met people who have turned around. Uh, and that is because it's, it's winter up here. Uh, you would never have thought it was August never <laughs> and it's a lot more snow than I uh, than I expected but I think I think I'm gonna make it fuck yeah I'm gonna make it here's the shady bridge the guys from Spain told me about I'm gonna take a short break then attach everything loose to my backpack so I have both my hands free and then I'm gonna cross it easy peasy.